Hello everyone! In this video I am going to talk about some activities that you as a teacher can implement into the classroom if you want to use the communicative language teaching method. The first activity that I choose is called commercial time. In this activity the teacher has to take different stuff into the classroom. For example, it could be glasses, it could be a pencil or a cell phone or it could be a notebook and then he has to put all these objects in a object in a bag and ask each each student to take an item without looking and don't explain anything to them get curious then the teacher tells the students that they are owner of a big company that produces this particular object so the students need to advertise that project and they need to they need to describe it what we should buy the product and to combine the customers to buy that product the objective the objective of this method is to develop the speaking ability of the students and to put in practice vocabulary about buying something or about shopping. The second activity that I chose is called Define. In this activity, the teacher has to divide the group and teams or in pairs and choose a topic already explained. It could be about animals, about food, professions, actions, or whatever topic. Then he has to give a different word to, to each player or to each team and related to the topic chosen. For example, if the topic that the teacher chooses is animals, one team is going to talk about beer, other team is going to talk about dog, other team is going to talk about cat, other, and other team is going to talk about cow, and so on. And each team is going to describe that word until other team guess that word. And in this, in this activity, the main objective is to develop the speaking ability of the students and to make a review of the vocabulary already learned. Now I'm going to talk about the third activity, that is answer it. In this activity, the teacher has to divide the word in six squares and then he needs to write in, in each square a different questions and here the student has to use different grammar tenses. Also, after write the different questions, he needs to put or paint a piece of paper that will cover that question because the, the students may not look what the questions are. After that, a student has to pass in front of the board and choose a piece of paper. Then the teacher has to need the questions in order for the students answer that question. The objective of this activity is to improve the speaking ability of the students, obviously, and also to make a review about different grammar tenses already learned. And also, the students will notice how words are formed and created in different grammar tenses. And these are three activities that you can implement in your classroom if you are a teacher, if, if you want to make an activity to improve the speaking ability of your students. I hope you enjoyed the video and also I hope that you put in practice these activities and your following classes. Goodbye!